A few weeks ago, we filmed a video about how easy it was to make a road trip in an electric car thanks to an increasingly large number of public charging stations, great electric vehicle choice, and networks that are finally working together to get rid of all of those RFID cards that you used to have to carry with you whenever you went anywhere in an EV. And now we're here trying desperately to keep things operating as normally as possible, dealing with panic buyers clearing out the shelves and wondering just how our friends and family will get through this all. We're going to try and keep a sense of normalcy looking forward at least as much as we can. And so that video we filmed will be coming later in this week. And we're also going to be making our daily videos to try and keep folks entertained and informed about the world of cleaner, greener, safer and smarter vehicles. And we're also actually going to get through our backlog of videos. But today I'm going to deal with some more practical advice that's relevant to the time we now find ourselves in. How you can keep your electric car in a good state of health while it's spending days, weeks, maybe even months not being driven. It's a topic I've touched on before on this channel, but I feel that given everything that's going on, it's worth revisiting this topic today. Any car, regardless of how it's powered, prefers to be driven rather than spend extended periods of time not being driven. And while going for a drive could get you out and about without encountering other people, it's technically social distancing after all, the chances are that your car isn't being driven nearly anywhere as much as you might normally do, especially if you live in a two-car household and you find yourself using just one car for all of those essential shopping trips while the other one just sits there unloved and unused. Luckily though, looking after an electric car that's not being used for extended periods of time is a pretty simple thing and the advice I'm going to give you is super easy to follow. And all of it relates to keeping both the 12 volt accessory battery as well as the main traction battery pack happy and tickety-boo. First up, let's keep an eye on your car's 12 volt accessory battery. It's often overlooked by electric car owners, but that battery is the thing that's responsible for engaging the relays to your car's high voltage traction pack. And also, most electric cars use their 12 volt batteries to power things like telematics and the computer system for the battery management for the car. So it's actually possible to significantly drain that 12 volt battery over time. And while some cars do have a low power sleep mode that they automatically activate after they've been parked a few days to keep that battery from completely draining, they're not always perfect. Simply put, if you just leave the car and let it run down its 12 volt battery, you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt when it comes to actually jumping behind the wheel after an extended period of time with a car not being used. While cars of less than a, a year or so in age shouldn't have any major issues, the usually lead acid 12 volt batteries that are used as accessory batteries in your electric car really aren't designed to be used in an electric car. That's because they're primarily designed for life as starter batteries in internal combustion engine vehicles. If you're interested in this aspect, I've actually made a couple of videos on this channel on the subject a little bit more in depth. So I'm not going to repeat myself, but I'll make sure I link to them in the show notes below. But now let's turn our attention to the main traction battery pack. You know, the thing that provides the power that your car uses to go down the road. Most modern electric cars use lithium ion batteries of some description. So I'm going to follow the generic advice for lithium ion batteries as a whole. These batteries do not like to be kept at a full state of charge for extended periods of time. They also do not like being kept at a low state of charge for an extended period of time. As a consequence, this means, yep, you're right. You should try and keep your car's battery pack somewhere in the middle for that long term storage. Some electric cars let you choose just how full you want your car to be when you charge it, while others have a specific long-term storage mode. If you're not going to be using your car for more than a week or two, 
it's well worth getting your car into that operational mode or store it with that optimal charge in the battery pack. Finally, it's worth noting that you really should listen to your car's manufacturer recommendations over the question of keeping it plugged into a charging station or unplugging it. Most, but not all car makers, recommend keeping your car plugged in if possible, because your car can then use power from the charging station to run its thermally active cooling system. All Teslas and most active thermally cooled cars will do this rather than take power from the battery pack. If the car is unplugged, it will take power from the battery pack to run any necessary battery cooling or heating systems. So keeping it plugged in will help reduce the risk that your car will slowly run its battery pack down over a matter of weeks or months, ultimately bricking the pack. As I've said though, you should definitely check with your owner's manual for your car because some vehicles, the Nissan Leaf is one that comes to mind, actually recommend not keeping your car plugged in because you could do some damage if you do. In the case of the Nissan Leaf, it actually prevents the car from going into its deep sleep energy saving mode. So if you follow these steps to keep your car happy, you should have no issues when this hell, whatever it is, is finally over. And if you're unable to do either of those steps because you don't have a garage or you don't have off-street parking, bear in mind that your car will probably be just fine without these recommendations. But you should certainly go and check on it fairly frequently to make sure both the 12 volt and the main traction batteries are still happy. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. You can send us a couple of dollars our way every month through Patreon or feed our coffee habit with Kofi. I'll be back soon with more great content for you all to enjoy, hopefully less croaky. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands and uh, keep evolving.